A few weeks ago, I made a video comparing a dozen different skinny jeans from three different brands, and a lot of you guys asked for another video on straight leg jeans or 90s style jeans since they are heavily in style right now. And so today, I just wanted to bring that video to you guys where I'm gonna be trying on and comparing every 90s style straight jean from two different brands, both a Goldie and Redone. So I've got 12 jeans in total for you all. As a petite who's a pear-shaped woman, a majority of my weight is on my bottom half. And so jeans have always been super tricky for me to find because you know I have such a gap between what my waist needs to have versus my hips and so on. And so I've been on this mission to find the perfect pair of jeans for my body type. And so I'm gonna break down my size choice and how it feels on my waist, on my thighs and the length of every pair along with the different comfort levels. If this is something that you find useful, then I can definitely continue this series and compare them against some other more affordable brands in the future. So let me know in the comments below if interested. In order to be able to try on and compare these 12 different jeans today, Saks Fifth Avenue gave me some spending money. So thanks to them for being the sponsor of today's video. Saks has been around forever, being founded in 1867 and everyone knows exactly who I'm talking about when I mention Saks. At any age, it's something we're all familiar with because it's just this great place to go if you've been trying to save up for a specific item that you've dreamed of having. Um, that's where I go whenever I'm trying to find it because they have quite a few different sales that they run. And so right now they actually have a uh, friends and family sale going on between now and March 29th. So that's where you can get 25% off of new arrivals and 20% off of jewelry. One of the reasons I also gravitate toward buying from Saks is just how easy returns are. So when trying items like jeans, I can try them in multiple sizes without having any issues on returns. And also the opening experience is always like a treat. It feels like you're opening up a present because of the way that they just wrap it for you. And so if if you are interested in buying off the sale um, or any of the items that I'm mentioning today and trying on and reviewing, then I'll leave links down in the description where you can check them out. And with that, let's get started with the try-ons. For the first grouping, I'm going with 90s straight standard wash jeans. That means no distressing or holes to speak of and in really standard colors that you can mix and match well with for any other type of top or any type of outfit. For the A Goldie 90s crop mid-rise loose straight jean in replica, I size down two sizes. Um, I'm standard more of a 26 and I'm wearing a 24. So they have this um, perfect like loose fit jean, but this is their cropped version of that. So it's the iconic version just cropped up a bit. You can really wear these loosely uh, if you want to, but I just prefer to have a closer and tighter fit, which means that it's going to give me also a higher rise. So the brand suggests if you want that, just to size down. And so I've always wondered about that and I just wanted to explain that here. Um, but that's what I normally do. I go from a 26 to a 24 and these are in a light wash. They have no stretch and they still are soft. Um, they don't have any lyocell or anything making them soft like with the stretch jeans, the skinny jeans from my last video, but instead they have this soft organic cotton. And so that's lovely and it wears well too. It will sort of stretch out with time. For the waist, it's a good fit. There's a little bit of a gap in the back, so that's not bad at all. The pockets are large and high and slightly angled. And so for my booty shape, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so basically, if you want to have that ratio, it's like cheek to pocket ratio. And so if you feel like you are curvy back there and you want it not to be exaggerated, then having a larger pocket will work really well there. And having it high on the top of the booty is going to make it to where it angles just right. And having the uh, angle of the pockets a little bit is really helping too. For the thigh, um, it's good. It's not too tight. It's not too loose and there's very minimal creasing there. So that's lovely. As for the length, I of course love the 90s loose fit. So when it came in a cropped version, I really wanted to try it. It's just so perfect because I already will be able to just slip them on. I don't need to get, take them to the tailor or anything. It's going to highlight my summer heels and it also will be perfect for if I want to wear sneakers or flats with them. Distressing, I would say is very minimal. There's slight whiskering on the hip and then there's a little bit of frame 
spring on the back pocket. So it just feels a little bit more lived in that way. For comfort, I would say that it feels just right. Um, at first, it, it feels maybe just a little bit tight, but it forms to your body with time. So overall, I really do like this cropped version, but let me just compare it now to the standard length. This is the Agoldi 90 mid-rise loose fit in snapshot. So again, I'm going two sizes down from the 26 that I would normally wear. So again, this is that quintessential Agoldi 90s loose fit jean. It is such a beautiful standard. It is my go-to. It is their iconic style. And so now let's try this on and see that full length. Okay, for the waist, I would say it's a really good fit. There's a little bit bigger of a gap. That might be just my imagination, but it seems like there is a little bit more room back there. So depending on your body style, your shape, your measurements, that might be exactly what you need. Um, for the booty, there is room for lift, and so it's contouring really well. For the thigh, I would say that it's looser than the pair before, in my opinion, in my mind, on my observation. Uh, so I would say that it is a little bit looser. It's not really digging in there at all. For the length, this is going to be perfect for the type of jean I need to wear with heels. If I'm not trying to show them off, if I want that longer line, um, then it's going to be absolutely perfect to lengthen for that taller shoe. Uh, for distressing, there's barely any, and again, it's got that organic cotton, so the comfort is wonderful. And of course, I, I do feel it's a little bit roomier than the pair before, so it's absolutely perfect if you want something that is that loose fit style. Without it being overly loose, you can definitely work with the size guide there. Next, let's switch out the loose fit with the pinch waist. So these are the Agoldi 90s pinch waist high rise straight jean in the shade Endless, and I'm sizing down to a 25. So that's just one size down this time. These are designed to have a fitted waist and then be relaxed throughout the leg. And then it's really a matter of where you want it to land on your feet. This time you can see through the waist, there's barely a gap. And that is lovely. I would say that there's a straighter line carried down through the hip. And that is going to de-emphasize curves. So it depends if that's what you're looking for or not. Um, if I went up a size, it would be a little bit too big in the waist, and which is another option actually because I can always get it taken in at the tailor. So just use your judgment on your own measurements and really think through uh, what you want to have hemmed or tailored for you specifically. For the pockets, the size is good. They're a little bit lower down, and that might be because this is compressing the booty a little bit, so it's just sort of bringing that pocket down. For the booty, again, if I went up a size, it would be a little bit too big in the waist, and I prefer to have more room in a higher pocket, so this is perfect for you. If you have maybe a smaller booty and you don't want any emphasis there, this would be my go-to uh, if my booty were a little bit smaller. So that is just something to consider for your own use and then for the thigh I would say that it is tight there is some creasing but it's no distressing there's nothing that is making it seem wider visually so that's something great as well for the length I would say that it's perfect for heels um, again because it is this standard length it's gonna be great no matter what kind of heeled boot or shoe you want to wear overall the distressing is very minimal um, there is a little bit but because this is a slightly darker wash it's minimizing the appearance of that. For the comfort, it would be comfortable more so if it was one size up, but again, then I need to take it in, in the waist if so. And so the 90s loose are much more comfortable of a fit for me, um, but these are absolutely wonderful if you want that like tight jean look. Um, and they also have much more of a relaxed fit throughout the leg. It's really only tight, you know, from the thigh and upward. Okay, I tried a darker wash in these two just for experimentation, just so that you can see what it looks like. If you are looking for something that's a little bit more mature then a dark wash is the way to go and that's my personal preference as well whenever I can find them. So these are the Agoldi 90s pinch waist high rise straight in portrait size 25. So now let's try the iconic 90s jean that Redon is known for just to compare the two brands together. So this is technically the Redon 90s high rise loose in the 60s fade shade, which is lovely. It definitely has that vintage feel to it as well. And so I would say that it has an extended inseam. It's got some double stitching on this as well. Um, and that's right on the side seam and that's just lovely too. So lots of 
definitely uh, retro vibes happening with this pair and let's see how they actually fit differently. Right out of the gate, I can feel that these are much looser. I do think that they have the biggest gap in the back out of the four, so that would need to be tailored for me specifically. Uh, for the pockets, they are large and they're high, which is absolutely perfect. I feel like this is an amazing booty shape. Um, it just feels like it is something that people spend you know, hours in the gym every day trying to achieve, and these jeans are doing that, so that's amazing. Um, the thigh has very minimal creasing on it. I would say because it is a little bit of a looser fit on me, it's doing that job perfectly. And also the length. I would say that I would tailor them up a little bit because they do have that buckling that's happening with the fabric at the foot. But that's just, again, I think a preference. I think I would look a little bit taller um, just to adjust that, which honestly, the hem is amazing too. So I would want to bring up the original hem through a tailor. For distressing, there's barely any, and I would definitely call these comfortable. So to recap, the ones that I've covered so far, the cropped version from A. Goldie was the most versatile. I'm talking heels, flats, the fit is great, everything is great about it out of the box, I don't have to get them tailored. For the loose fit, they are the most flattering for my body type, and it also keeps my legs lengthened. The pinch was definitely my favorite out of the bunch as far as wash is concerned. I also loved how it does pinch a little bit in the waist as the name says. And if my booty were just a little bit smaller, they would have been my top pick altogether. The reduns that I'm wearing right now, extremely comfortable and it definitely makes my butt look amazing. I just need to get them hemmed a little bit and taken in at the waist. For this next section grouping of jeans, I wanted to compare jeans that have holes on the knees because you're either going to be someone who's going to wear knee holes or you're not. So I figured that I would just compare them together. So let's start with the A. Goldie 90s cropped jean. These are still the mid-rise loose straight and suspend. So they really are just like the section before where I'm gonna start with that cropped version. And this is a size 24. So these have a marbled surface and they're really soft organic cotton um, and there is no stretch to these just like the ones before. For the waist, it does slouch a little bit and it has the perfect rise. So that already is lovely. I also think that having that tighter fit in all of these jeans is really helping me because I want it to fit on my hip and then take in the waist if I need to. For the pockets, they are high and I would call the size more of a medium. They also have a darker shade on top of the pocket and that really creates a lifted look because the eye is brought to the top of the booty. So it has that perfect contour of the booty and the perfect shape. As far as the thigh, I would say that it has minimal creasing, there's no distressing to speak of, and the length is absolutely perfect for flats and sneakers having that cropped length again. For distressing throughout the jean, I would say that it is a very thoughtful design. The knee has some holes, but it also shows a really relaxed and loose fit around the knee, so it looks roomy there, and I think that's really important. As for comfort, again, we're working with organic cotton, and there's extra room along the back and that makes it extra comfortable. So overall, I would say this is a beautiful jean. It's a wonderful design. It's very thought through from top to bottom, and it's already cropped to a length that I could already wear with anything. Just like the section before where I compared the cropped with the standard length, that's what I'm gonna do here with these that have the knee holes. So this is the distressed jean in the shade Isolate from A. Goldie, and again, I'm using the size 24. So for the waist, I love this lovely design here with the dye. I just think that that is so beautiful and unique and there's not as much gap as far as I can tell in the back or on the sides so that's wonderful too. I would say that the pockets are a medium size again and the placement is really great. Um, also the Frays are scattered throughout the pockets, so it's kind of making your eye move you know and I think that that's such a lovely thing to do with designs. For the booty, it seems to be a little bit more room for the curves compared to the other ones um, in the back of these. And then the thigh has minimal creasing, no problem there. As for the length, I would say, again, it's perfect for heels as a petite. Um, it has some fraying along the bottom, and if you need to get them hemmed, then definitely do so by a tailor. Ask for that original hem to be reattached. 
Um, also, the side of the jean goes for miles. I feel like it's just a, such a beautiful cut. And again, this is a really great loose fit because it's de-emphasizing curves, which is good if that's what you're looking for in a jean. For distressing from top to bottom, you know, the knee holes are the primary way that they're accomplishing the distressing, but then they've got a few extra holes. I would say that right here along the hip, they're drawing your eye there. And you would think, since that's my widest point, that having a tension there would be sort of distracting um, or not flattering, but it's actually sort of doing something else as far as my eye can tell, where having this asymmetry, you know, it's not on both sides is really helping there and it's not exaggerating that area but i think it's actually de-emphasizing and slimming it a little bit so for comfort it's again organic cotton and that is definitely something to keep in mind when looking for jeans moving into pinch waist this is the shade backdrop again we're working with that 90s jean as before from a goldie for the waist i would say that it really resembles the loose fit style in the front um, but more so on the sides and in the back i can tell a difference that this is the pinch waist there's much less of a gap on the sides and the waist um, for the pockets, I would say that the, they're very large, which is something that I'm looking for in particular. For the booty, I would say that it looks lifted, and the size that I chose keeps the booty smaller without any weird indents. Sometimes that happens, and there aren't any indents going on right now, so I'm really happy with this. I would also say that it's a good jean for somebody with a slightly less curves than me. For the thigh, minimal creasing, and for the length, I would say that it is, again, perfect for any type of heel that I want to wear as a petite. If you are not petite, by the way, you can wear these without a problem. You know, you would be able to wear these with flats no problem for distressing the asymmetrical holes are bringing the eye up and down and that's really good even having the knee hole start higher up is going to create a much more like looking taller hack because it looks like my calf length is a lot longer and it has some whiskering as well but it's still not as exaggerated on the hip for the comfort, I would also say that, you know, that organic cotton is so important here again. As for the Redone version with the knee holes, I'm going with the 90s comfy style from Redone, and this is in Sun Faded Destroy. I tried the 26 and I actually sized down to a 24. They are really trying to make this something that lays kind of lower on the hip, and so because of just my preference, I went with that tighter fit again. That's going to rise the raise up the rise for this, and it's going to be great but these are iconic 90s jeans and they are so cool and i love the grunge style of them too for the waist i would say that it's a very slouchy design and it's a bit lower of a rise than the other ones you can kind of tell by the footage you can see my belly button when i'm wearing a different shirt and also i would say that the front is a little bit lower in the rise than the back in the back it's up much higher and i kind of like that so for the pockets they are large and they're high and again that's exactly the sort of formula that i'm looking for for my pockets in the back for the booty, it is just, again, so perfectly round. I would say that Redone does an excellent job when it comes to the booty. For the thigh, it's also looser back there. So there's barely any creasing. There's maybe just a little extra fabric and that's about it. For the length, again, slouchy. And I would also say that there is a little bit of buckling fabric at the end. But in this case, it's really intentional. It's not sloppy. I think that it goes with a pair of jeans that have knee holes where you can have something that is just all together grungy and you know slouchy. And then you can pair it with some some shirts or some outfits or accessories that are cleaner and might speak a little bit more to your complete style taste. For the distressing, I would say that whenever there are holes in the knees from Redone, you're looking to have cleaner edges on the holes themselves. And then also they have these little details above the holes too that are just very thoughtful attention to detail there. Um, for comfort, it's a rigid fabric, but the loose fit is making them comfortable. I also tried my 26 size, which would be my normal size, and that is a much bigger style. So that's kind of what they were intending for someone um, who wants that looser, uh, more rugged style. 
but for me and my body type, the 24s are wonderful. Overall, I would say that this pair would be the one out of this selection of the ones with holes in them. Um, this is the one that I would choose. Again, if you're going with something with holes, it's good to choose a relaxed fit. If you are a triangle shape or a rectangle shape, then going true to size in these reduns would be wonderful if you wanna try that looser fit. But again, every single one of these styles has their own purpose. There's not any of them that I would not purchase. Moving into some black jeans, let's just try those same types of jeans again and just see what the wash does to change the jean entirely. So this is the A Goldie 90s crop again, and this is in that mid-rise loose straight. This is actually in the shade Pitch, which I was able to snag. Um, I think it was probably from their winter collection. I'm not seeing any right now on the site, but I will keep an eye out. And if they come back in sale at some point, I'll definitely link them down below. So of course, there's similarities to the waist and the pockets and all of that from the ones you've seen already. But I would say that these ones do have some room in the back and on the sides. The pockets are large and high. I would say that the booty has a lot of room and it's perfect for curves. For the thigh, it's a perfect fit here again, and it's just loose enough. It doesn't feel too tight or constricting. It's not doing too much creasing or anything. And then for the length, just having that cropped length is great. But what's interesting is that to me, it seems like it's a little bit more of an elongating look than having a lighter wash, which I want to kind of unpack for a second because a lot of people think, oh, I'm petite, I can't wear a crop jean that will just make me look shorter. A lot of people think this, but because black is already such a slimming and lengthening color, it is making that line look longer. So it's actually doing wonders and it's making it seem like you have a jean that fits you properly if you are a petite. So this is great, absolutely wonderful, and the distressing is minimal, and it would be a looser fit still, so I would call it a very comfortable jean. Next, let's compare the cropped to the regular length again. So these are the 90s loose fit from a Goldie, but you might notice that they don't have any tags on them. That's because these I've owned for two years, and I can link you down below, but this is going to show you exactly what they look like when you've had them and they've worn in for a while. So this is what they look like when I have owned them for a couple years. Same fit as before, just a little bit looser in the waist a little bit. And then for the pockets, I would call them still a medium for the rest of the real estate around here. And then for the booty, it's roomy, perfect for curves. For the thigh, I would say that it's a loose fit, it's comfortable. Um, it also has gotten softer too, by the way, um, skipping straight down to comfort. I would say that it has been something that just naturally gets a little bit more brushed with time and wear. And then for the length, I would say that it's again perfect for wearing with boots and heels. And um, it's something I've constantly worn with some crocodile print boots. And then it's straight throughout the legs, so that's great too. Matches anything in my closet. Also for distressing, it is more of like a, a light wash. Well, it's like a dark wash gray, but it still is much lighter than a typical black jean. So it is something that just wears lovely um, and it's not finicky when I wanna try it with a black shirt. You know, it's gonna be something I can pair with anything. I couldn't seem to find a pinch waist um, on the website, so I'm gonna skip ahead to the reduns. These are the 90s high rise loose in washed black. So they have all these these rips on them and they're super cool so I definitely want to try these and talk through them I would say for redone too this is going to be that iconic style but then the rip is also a pattern that they do in a very like repeatable way it's something that they have on some other ones as well where they basically just cut into it and flap it down it actually creates a really cool design for the waist for these I would say that they are a little bit tighter around here I'm going with a 25 instead of a 26 um, if I would have sized up I think that that would have been a little bit too wide and I do have that one that I tried but I do like the fit of the 25s a lot and I do think that they will loosen with time. They are a lower rise than a Goldie here and then the pockets are large. The pockets are a little bit lower but then it's also balanced because of the angle of the pockets so that's great. 
For the booty, much more round than the others from Igoldi, um, which is what I am personally looking for. And it looks absolutely great with all of these redones. They do such great attention to detail there. For the thigh, it does have some creasing, but not bad. And also for the length, it is long. I do think that it looks absolutely wonderful. And especially with this darker wash, it's wonderful. Um, I also think that it's meant to hit at the bottom of the shoe by what I have read. And so it is doing that. It does have a little bit of a flare to it, which is interesting as well. And I think that you can sort of play with these details of distressing with the holes in the knees and maybe being a little bit faded. You can have some fun with it because that darker wash is going to make it stay very sophisticated. So here again, Redon has those cleaner edges, like I was saying about the knee area, and it is just a really beautiful jean. For comfort, I did try the 26 and the 25. I prefer the look of the 25, so obviously when it comes to how comfortable you want it to be, the looser the better in that regard. And those were my reviews of the 90s straight jeans from two of my favorite jeans brands. And thank you so much to Saks Fifth Avenue for making this video possible, for providing each one of these pieces and just making it uh, the ability to be able to tape this and put it together. And so also don't forget to check out the friends and family sale if you want to save on those dream pieces of your own. And also if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.